fuck, what did I just do? Two and a quarter. And another half inch. So, three inches would be the minimum. Four inches would be the maximum. What we're looking for is 3.4. All right, so show you again. I don't know if it took on the first video, but we are working on a scar. We are going to order some coils. So to order a coil, you need the inner diameter, which is you use these top two teeth right here, and you spin it up until it hits. onto the coil. Oh my god. Alright, so right there. That's nice and snug. 2.34. 2.32. So two or four or three. Put that on the wrong one. 2.34. Yeah, inner diameter. 2.33. That's what we'll do. Oh my god, I can't write. Okay, inner diameter. That's it. We'll do inches. I'm doing both because you'll see in the book. It'll have it in millimeters sometimes or in inches and sometimes. So just do them both. But for to show you, I'm just doing this. It's so outer diameter. You did the top two teeth for the inner diameter. These bottom two teeth are for outer diameter. So the coil is... You got to get coil and all. It's 2.53. So it's a two and a half inch coil. And then what you do is the winding height. You get to the bottom of the former to the top of the coil. 1.29. See, winding height. Let me check that again. got to find a place that isn't fucking all smashed. This coil's all beat down. Here we go. So you take it to the top of the copper. Right there, I got my tooth on it. So 1.36. 1.36 millimeters it is 34.58 so if you can get between these two sometimes you'll get a couple measurements but the inner diameter and outer diameter has to be the most important so just to check this we'll check the hole hole here boy there's nothing to this ain't much of a motor so we'll check this out you can take this stick that comes out the bottom run it down make sure you zero out so take this stick and you wind it out oh let's turn it like this pain in the ass. I'm winding this out until it hits bottom. Oh my god, did it hit bottom yet? Yeah. 
There's the bottom. Hold on a second. Alright, so 61.87 millimeter. Pull. Bent. Uh, depth. 61.87 millimeter. Or what is it? Oh, uh, fuck. Hold on. So, what I did is I measured the pole. I measured down in the pole. Is there any, any wire still in there? Doesn't look to be. You can see. Let me show you the vents. So you got the big vent in the middle. See these vents? These are the vents you want in your subwoofer. See that vent there? All these little circles. And you got the main one. It's all for cooling. Then you have these vents on the sides. Right there. One, two, three, there's four of those. This isn't that cheap of a basket. I've seen shittier, but it's pretty. It's just a cast basket, you can tell. So there's a couple places where I didn't get much of the gasket on. But see, that has enough meat on there that you can glue that down one more time. You know, if I was a little bit more patient, I probably would have got this off a little bit better. I'd peel all that shit off of it. Because you're going to add all fresh glue. So we'll work on getting this out. Work on salvaging the spider and then separating these guys. Actually, no, we'll leave the spider in one piece, duh. We need to get this out. So, <clears throat> we'll pry on that. And then find out. So, my next step is I need to get that dust cap out. So, I got all my measurements of the coil. I'll get on and order those. And there's the gap. So, we got... 2.5 I don't have much of a fucking gap. So, anyways, I got everything I need to order the coil and I'll find out if it goes between them gap points in the vent and then that's it man you can tell this is fucking like new somebody just fucking destroyed it there's the end of it they just fucking burn it overpowered that's what you get Get on tonight, order some coils, and we'll get back at you. Alright guys, I'm going go to go to bed here. I'm tired. i got to go do that railing tomorrow. Finish that up so I can get paid up in this bitch. So, Alright, I will see you. And i uh, show you the second part of the scar. So, real quick before I go. Outer diameter, inner diameter... Uh, winding length 
on the former, the depth, of the, the height of the coil itself, and then the actual height of the coil, the entire former, I mean. So get all the measurements you can, and then even measure this, the outside out here, this, la this line where the coil goes down in right there. Yeah. You want to measure from here to here for your outer diameter, and then from this center pool stem here, from this to this. And then you subtract these two, and you'll find your gap. And as long as you order a coil that fits in that gap and is the right height, and you want to match the windings depth, the height, you'll be good to go. And this is a dual four. I think it's a dual four. Yeah, dual four. Um, so that's what we're looking for. All right, man, I'm going to go get this rebuilt. And this is why you salvage everything. Because I don't want to buy a new surround. I don't want to buy a new dust uh, cone. I don't want to buy a new spider. Everybody cuts these. I'll bust this out. I can damage this to get it out. So I clean that up and I can slide a new coil right back in there. In that spider without even fucking it up. And then the only thing I got to get out next is the dust cap. And I'm already working at that. Put that shit down in there. And I'll do a couple coats on the glue to soften it up and then get that cap off there without damaging anything. If you see it start tearing the paper, back off and lift somewhere else. Just pry around it with a small razor blade or a small, I use these little weeny teeny right here. Teeny little screwdriver for glasses. So alright, I'm going to go. I will see you next time. Peace out.